I find it difficult to feel happy. And when I'm on my own, I find it difficult not to sink. But when I'm around other people, it tends to lift my spirits. But I suspect that's because I'm too insecure to let them see the real me. It's this real glooming, despairing me. I'm confused as to what my goal is in life. I can work a 16 hour day and yet simple tasks, simple obstacles like having to speak to the phone company, going around roadworks, tube delays, even struggling to open a bag of nuts can bring me to the verge of tears. So I wait for the weekend to have a life and I just can't seem to get it together to get out of bed. So I remind myself of the good things in life health, income, a loving partner, comfortable home, living in the most exciting city in the world. But you tire of London and you tire of life. Isn't that how the saying goes? Well, of course I'm not tired. I'm only 35. How can I be tired? And so I realize how all this just could be gone in a second. Tomorrow I could be diagnosed with some terrible illness, which I'm sure I will be. And that's what makes this all the harder. Reminds me I need to grab these times by the horns. And I feel like sleeping. Sometimes I'm happy in my dreams. There's this one dream. I'm in this cottage, somewhere resembling Switzerland. And there's this never ending green and these <laughs> crystal clear blue waters. I can't describe to you how beautiful it was. Maybe that's what beauty is like when you're happy. And then there was this girl. It wasn't Anne. I don't know who she was, but she felt familiar. And she comes up to the porch and she's carrying this bouquet of beautiful, bright, wild flowers. And she gives them to me and she says, I love you. And I don't think I have ever felt that intensely happy as I did in that dream and for those few seconds after I woke up before it all just disappeared am I not just the most pathetic man?